Offer all things, amen. All living things, amen. And that is one of those things. Yes, that is a spirit, it's a life. Hallelujah. God has given us power over that. Amen. So we are the children of God. We are the sons of God. The Bible says, he that knows their God will do exploit. So when we have the deeper revelation that we can do exploit, we can change life. We can program our day. We can. That's why the Bible says, have you command the morning? Job, have you command the morning? That means we can command our day. We can reprogram. Hallelujah. How our day have to be by the speaking word. The word that we speak is life. Amen. The word that we are, we spoke is, uh, is spirit and they are life. That's what the Bible says. So as if, if somebody is sick, the person can speak to their body. Literally, this body, you cannot be sick. My body is the temple of the Holy Ghost. I do it all the time. People around me can be sneezing coughing, choking, and whatever. But when I start speaking that word and I literally speak it, speak it, it won't happen. I have done it so many times and it works. It, the only time I can get sick is when I'm not speaking to my health. When I'm not saying I cannot get sick, that, you know, when they, that just tired or reluctantly just leave it and looking for paracetamol to do it, sometimes just because from the flesh. But we as spirit being, we can tell our body you can't be sick. Amen. It has worked for me many times by the mercy of God. And that is the same power that casts out sickness from people. That power of the Holy Ghost that casts out disease, that kill cancer, that kill HIV AIDS. That has happened numerous times in different children of God's life as the, as the word of God come upon them. So what Ecclesiastes is saying here, yeah, uh, no favor to men of skills. Yes, it's true. It's not about skills. You can, you can be very, very skillful, go to university, go to everything and still not have a job. You can be very, very smart. You can live in a country like Holland and still not have anything to show for because favor is from is of the Lord. Amen. But by the spirit, because we are born again, all these things are accessible to us. All we need to do is to continue to ask for God to give, to, to, to increase it, to make us manifest it. Amen. Because as we give our life to Jesus, it's a whole packet. Favor is there. Mercy is there. Glorious life is there. Increase prosperity. Amen. Yes. But what we do, is to activate it in a daily basis. Amen? By speaking it into manifestation. Amen? Death cannot have us. We can decide. You see, when it's a bino, is 65 years, yesterday or two days ago, or maybe, two, yes, yes, she looked like she's 40, uh, 38. No wrinkles on her body. She's not looking tired. She's, her skin is still shining. Eh? If you say, oh, if she went to do surgery on her, on her face, did she do surgery on her neck? Did she do surgery on her body? She, she's still looking very fragile, strong. Hallelujah. Amen. That is the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It can keep us young. We can also talk about Maho. That is here in our midst. Amen. Her age is also, uh, she's an advanced woman. Amen. But I've never seen her fuck out or sick. In fact, if you want to walk, if you uh, have the word time, I will say, let us walk. My God, this woman was walking like a soldier. Me, I was looking for my, I want my car. Hallelujah. So, you see, because she has trained herself and plus that she, she, uh, she, by the spirit, she kept her health. Amen. We can keep our health. And I have another girlfriend, Christine. 
and she's 85 years. She's going to be 85. Looking beautiful. Every time you see her, she's dressed up. Makeup is there. Amen? We are spirit beings. We don't die. We can decide not to go old. We can decide that our organs stay young, stay fresh. Our liver, that we don't go for, for operation. We don't fall sick. Amen? It is possible. It is possible in Christ. Amen. Amen. John 6. Yeah. John 6. Hallelujah. John 6, 63. The Bible says the spirit gives life. The flesh comes for nothing. The word I spoke, I have spoken to you. They are full of the spirit. King James Bible said, it is the spirit that quickens. The flesh profit nothing. The word that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. So as I'm speaking now, there are literally something coming out of my, my mouth. There, are, there, there is life. The, the word, the air that is coming, they are not just air. We don't see it with our physical eye, but, but spiritually, when we say be healed, then a virtue comes out of us, the virtue which is the power of the Holy Ghost, the life of God that is in within us, come out eh, and speak and become, and become life and come upon that person and make the miracle happen. Amen? So we don't just speak empty words. We speak, we say, be healed. That be healed is, 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 is a person. It's a power. It's, it's, it's a Holy Spirit then come out of through us that it, it is already in us. It speak through us. And then that be healed is not just empty. Then it's, 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 it, it, it comes on that person. It lays on that person. It enters inside that person. As the person believes, it goes inside that person as a person, as an entity. Enter, root out all the sickness and go through all the body of the person and then command and the healing takes place. Hallelujah. Amen. So as we are speaking the word, the word, when we said, in the name of Jesus, let there be prosperity. Prosperity just pop out. Do you understand? It just, it just come into the atmosphere and it's looking for somebody to believe so that it can rest on that person. So it can become life and transform that person's life. Amen. Now that we have Jesus, it's not just by chance. Oh, whatever will be happy. The Bible says, he that is hunger, let, let that is tasty, let him come and drink. Amen. Oh, we have to be thirsty. We have to be expectant. As the word of God is released, we grab it with faith that is not just ordinary word. It is life. It is spirit. And that word will change our life. You see, sometimes people don't have the understanding. That's why when the word is released, they are reluctant to say amen because they think they have heard it before because they don't understand that this one that commands now, it is more powerful than yesterday. Your, your, the, the one that you, you heard yesterday, it is that yesterday, but now it's coming again. It's coming. It's your opportunity to grab it from your heart, not just with your lip, with your spirit, you connect to the word and make it life and then mm -hmm. the word that we speak is life so all this uh, just uh, yeah amen reluctantly yeah hallelujah reluctantly you see we are cheating ourselves because we don't understand that the word that we speak they are life they are life. They are there to change life. The Bible says the word of God is like, it's two edges word. It has, it's sharp. It goes into the, eh, into the hearts of men. Amen. It changed things. I want us to go to that scripture too. Hallelujah. For saying by the power of the Holy Ghost. You see, that's why the spirits of God talked about a Hebrew fall. Amen. We know that the word of God is, 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 is the spirit that gathered it. It's the Holy Ghost. It's true. It inspired men and people and they eh, wrote it, but it was all selected, chosen, gathered by the finger of God. Uh, the Bible says in Hebrew 4, 12, Hebrew 4, it says, For the word of God is quick and powerful. And sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing evil to the dividing and center of the soul and spirit 
and of the joints and the marrow, and it's a discerner of the thoughts and the intents of the heart. Oh my God. He mm -hmm. describes the whole human. Mm -hmm. Amen. He describes our soul, our spirit, our joints, our bones, our thoughts, our intentions. Amen. It's all there. It's loaded in this word of God. And the Bible says that it is quick. It is quick and it is powerful. So when the word of God is coming, oh my God, let us be re receiving it because it is sharper and faster than, fast, faster than how far your eyes can go. You think you saw something, but before you see that thing, the word of God is sharper than that. It goes still. Hallelujah. Quick and powerful. Amen. It, it, is not, it goes, it comes and it goes. It comes, it, it, you see, when you say, I am healed. Hallelujah. That, that healing just entered. That, oh my God. That, that healing that you said, I am healed. Then from inside out to the Holy Spirit. Amen. Speak it out of you. And then from outside in, you receive it again. And you meditate on it. And you accept it. And you, you allow it to change your life. Amen. It's a work worship. You got to work with God with faith. Amen. You see, I am healed. As you speak it, the spirit of God is what I speak it, spoke it out of you. Amen. But then because he speak it out of you, then you have to then receive it. You that speak, spoke the word have to then receive it. Yes, you have to receive. The Bible says the, uh, the word of God come by, uh, by hearing. Faith, I mean, comes by hearing the word of God. So when you say I'm healed, you speak it out. The spirit of God speak it out. And then you receive it by hearing it, receiving it, allowing it to really come to manifestation in your life. That is why it is two edged sword. Amen. And also it can speak, it can fight against the enemy. It can also deliver people. It can fight for you. It fight against the enemy. The word of God is so powerful. It pierces through the heart. Oof. So when the word of God is speaking and sometimes you don't feel that it's going well, like it, it hits, it hits. Yes, that's word of God. It's supposed to do that. It's supposed to pierce through your flesh. It's supposed to pierce through your flesh and enter your spirit. So when you are upset that the word of God is about you or this and that, yes, but then allow it to rest in your spirit. Amen. Yes, because now that word of God is like it's like it's like a sword. It has to pierce, it has to go. So it is not always going to be nice and sweet that we all all love the way that is preaching. It is the Bible says it's peers, it's peers into the soul and to the spirit, into the joint and to the marrow. So it is sometimes as the word of God comes, your joints, your body. Oh my God, it is it is hurting, it is hurting because it is passing through the spirit. God is trying to use it to change that character, to change that behavior, to change that mindset. So sometimes it does not feel nice, but you allow it because it is a spirit, so that it will change your life because it's not. Amen. Amen. The word of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. We are going to pray according to this Hebrew. Hallelujah. Because eh, it's not everything does not just happen by chance. You got to make it happen by the word of God. By the spirit of God that is inside you. Eh? As you speak the word, he is the one that makes it life. Amen. He's all in us. We are loaded. Amen. We speak it, we believe it, and we walk in it. Amen. We speak it, we believe it, we walk in it, we come to manifestation, we become a walking wonder of the epistle of the word of God. We become, eh, not just, eh, we become logos, manifestation. We start walking around. Amen. Like the preaching, the word become flesh. Amen. And, and dwell with us. Amen. That is the same thing today. Amen. The word of God that we speak, hallelujah, as we speak it, it become manifestation. It become real. It become a person. It become a thing. It become an, a, 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 a value 
environment. He changed the environment. He changed the country. He changed the situation. He changed it. Amen. He creates an aroma of heaven. Amen. As we speak the word of God, as we pray the word of God, and we 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 make it possible for the, the for the atmosphere to be changed. We draw the atmosphere of heaven. What is happening in heaven right now? We we draw it out. We make it to come to manifestation. The things that is written about you and me become manifestations. Eh? Come to manifestation. Why? Because we know that the word we are speaking is life and they are spirits. Amen. Remember, the Bible said that we are sitting in G with Jesus in heavenly places. Amen. And that is what it is. We are not just here. We are with him. We are inside him. So when we speak the word of God, there is an echo in our voice. Our voice is heard in the spirit. We are not a stranger. We are ambassador. We are from another realm. And this realm can recognize our voice because we are the sons of God. And because the spirit of God is inside us, hallelujah, amen, that realm must hear us. And then how do we pull it here on earth? By faith. Seeing, uh, see, being here on earth, but having the consciousness that we are not of it. Seeing that realm, the country where we came from, that thing that we need, we need to pull it out to this place where we are foreigners. And as we pull it out, that faith that we have is a vehicle that will enter there. And that weapon, amen, is the word of God. And what activates it is the Holy Ghost. Amen. So we, God has given it off. Give us, that's why I said in Luke, he said, I have given you power and dominion. Amen. Power and dominion. Hallelujah. Authority. Power and dominion. Amen. So let us, uh, we're going to pray for revelation, Father. Give us deeper revelation of who we really are, of how we can create things with our words. Give us revelation that the word of God will become life, that we see it happening for real, in a daily basis, on common miracle, on common testimony, on common manifestations of the word of God. Amen? Yes. And you are praying. Hey, you are praying. Doesn't mean that God, 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 God is listening to you. But you want to use that. You try 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 to use that